Good everybody, it's Mike from Mike's Track Building. Hope you're well. Um, I did a video yesterday and it was uh, to do with, just making sure, yeah, it's to do with uh, importing animated track side characters into my tracks. Anyway, I recorded the whole video and of course the sound wasn't working so that failed dismally. So I'm going to do it again today and just show you uh, step by step how it's done. I just want to shout out to um, Red APG. Uh, he's a guy on the Studio 397 forums who helped me out uh, to understand how to do this. So we're just going to go and hopefully I won't stuff this up and we'll be able to show you how to get a start. I'm going to do the start work at first. So I want to get a guy up in here to wave the flag and the one I'm going to use um, is going to be actually out of uh, the NOLA uh, Motorsport Park. Now this track I don't think it is now because uh, I saved it but in the earlier versions of R-Factor it was in the uh, dev mod so what I've done I've saved it <coughs> so I can use all the bits and pieces but here you'll see is the, the little pink guy, he's the flag guy. So what we do, uh, we go to edit and where it says center model, we go center model, bottom center model and what that does that puts it at zero. So it's at zero, um, zero x, zero y, zero z. And then we go to face data attributes and see here we drop that down the pivot point and we zero all these out so we go zero 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 okay and that's it that's all we have to do there then you go copy all and we go here so I want him up in the start box obviously so what I'm going to do I'm just going to click down here memorize XYZ paste control V and then see where it says MR that recalls the uh, positioning and there's old lady standing on the grass so I want him up here so the thing we have to do is bring him up up here now you'll see he hasn't got any um, any textures because I have not copied the texture into the file into the folder but I will do that. Now this is the only thing that's a pain you have to fiddle around and if someone can show me how to do this easy without okay we don't want that one we want this one so we need to go 76 it is a pain Oop, maybe 77 78, 78.5 Okay, so he's fairly close there and then we need to move him minus 298 nope. Okay, minus 300 So this is the only thing that is a pain um, maybe another half a meter. So that's that's not too bad. And then we'll just drop him down to forty-two meters. So so now he's in the box, and probably another half a meter. And this is where I know it's painful to watch. But yeah, you just have to do this and, and you have to persevere and fiddle. If there is another way of doing this quicker, I would like to know how to do it. The best way would be to export it out of 3D Max. Um, but I don't know how to do that. So here we go. So old matey is in there. Um, actually he's a little bit short. So I might actually bring him up a bit. Yes, so he's doesn't look so there. and then what you can do you go to the yaw and you can rotate 20 degrees 
You don't want to bring him across uh, crap. Which way? Uh, okay. That's better. And that's pretty well it. That's, that's where I'll keep him. So he looks good there. Then what you do, you go to the green arrow, uh, green tick mark, do that. Go to the, the um, data attributes and again use zero again. So if you go zero, oops, zero and zero, okay. Um, and if I right click on him, you'll see the material is corner worker A, so we'll we'll copy that in. So that's it. He looks good up there. We then go to export. We save the model, not the object. And then I go to locations. Uh, where are we? Queensland Raceway, Queensland National, because that's where I'm at. Ah, no, that's wrong. Assets, sorry, GMT, and we save him as starter worker triple zero. So we just uh, drop that back down, go there, do that starter worker triple zero, save, and then we close, close these down. Um, now what I do need to do is just double check corner worker now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pause because you don't want to see all this other crap I've got to do just give me a minute and I will get back into the textures and stuff, hang on ok so we're back again so here this is the, uh, the NOLA circuit and here's the guy that I've copied to go into Queensland Raceway. So Marshall is the um, is the texture we need, which is this one. Now all we actually we need quite a few textures. So when you do this for the first time, you will have to go back to the assets, to the maps all the way down and you need to copy all these flags so we need to copy all the flags and this one all through here some of these flags you will never ever see but you need that Marshall A DDS that is absolutely important so copy that go back to locations Queensland Raceway assets maps and paste and there they are. Now the other thing we need to do is this, I'm just going to block all this, this is your starter worker so we copy that, we go to QR and I don't know I'll put them, put them down here, we'll do it. So we do that, animate, uh, animated objects, so it has your flag down, uh, restart, victory, all that sort of stuff. That has to be there because that points to the um, the animation files. Uh, the other thing you need to do is go back to um, the NOLA circuit, go to assets, go to animations, just copy the whole whole thing. Um, yes, I've already done this. I have. That's that's all we need. So you have to have the animations there. And then the final thing you need to do is make sure it is pointed to the animations. In this case it is not. So we go back to Queensland Row, so let's go to there and we just make sure it's all um, anims with upper and lower case. So we come back and we'll just copy this one, paste, 
atoms make sure that's right otherwise it won't point to it and we save so now we've got the path to the animation files we have um, the animated object in the uh, SCN file so the starter worker triple O he will get loaded up and if you go to um, GMT there's your start worker triple O he's in there so all going well if I load Queensland now so we go there QR and it should load fairly fast there it is we go down here hide the uh, start finish zoom in all matey and there he is so what, then you can just check the animation so you right click on the object start worker scroll down here and if you do the victory flag there he goes so he's all in there so what I'm going to do I'll just reduce this down go to steam uh, play and all going well it'll be in game so I'm just going to just quickly have a have a look see if the if the start marshal works um, hang on I'm going to pause again okay so we're loading up into the dev mode a little bit slow skip barber and we'll go to Queensland National Circuit and load it hopefully this thing loads I need to go out and take new photos but with all this COVID crap the track's been shut down and then uh, my wife's not well so getting out there is a bit of a problem but I will get a photo eventually and update this this is like five years old this photo or I might just use the track when I finish putting all the trees in so it looks a bit better uh, but there's your start tower thing there and come on chaps we'll just go to next session we'll go to race and there he is drops a flag oops of course I'm not paying attention so he's there working exactly how we want him to work so he's doing his he's doing his flappy thing um, he's standing a little bit high but that's okay we can see him but that works so now what I have to do is do the rest all the, all the marshals and fire marshals and the pit exit guy and, and a few others um, but that is basically basically it um, so the next track to be updated obviously is going to be Queensland Raceway there's a lot to do on that um, I'll get that done as soon as I can and get that out in the wild so the good thing is now um, everything everything is working so I hope you enjoy that video I hope people can understand how to do it the only thing you must do is every time you bring in a new um, every time you bring in a new 
corner worker or a um, another martial guy you have to do each one individually so that means you open up the track open up the the worker port them over close both windows and do it again otherwise you'll get all sorts of weird artifacts with the flags and you get these massive streamer looking things which look terrible and you have to do it all again so you just do each one one at a time it takes a long time if you've got a lot of characters like I did with um, Oren Park but um, yeah it works it just gives a little bit more life to the track so thank you for watching and have a great day